Hello! Welcome to part 17 of building a dynamic member community social networking website in PHP and MySQL. And in this part we're going to focus on tightening up the profile display page. You can see I already tightened it up and I'm going to show you what I did to the source file and you'll be able to get the source files if you're watching the video now. You can go to webintersect.com and get the free source file package to view the adjustments I've made and I will be discussing them here too and uh, so you'll see in the profile edit page I added the the line we needed to show when the member joined I also added a line here for Adam Corey's blurbs blabs whatever we want to call it and I think I'm gonna put a button up top here soon it says start blabbing and it will be our form of tweeting so the site will operate very much in the same way that Twitter does uh, when it's all said and done so and so we'll show you the structuring out the profile edit page better displaying the bio now and I take care of uh, line breaks double line breaks and the apostrophe mess that a lot of people deal with that problem with apostrophes and line breaks when it comes to displaying and storing their database text fields and I'll also show you how to display alternate content in case the user doesn't have a YouTube channel we want to make sure that we show nothing in that area or show something else so inside of the script you can see if you go into the design view in Dreamweaver you'll see how I adjusted the table to now display the data better and all the data and some titles and stuff see now we have titles for sections so this is location details about and blabs blabs will be coming in part 18 and I'm going to show you Twitter functionality I'll show you how to make a Twitter clone and uh, so what we do here is we just set up all the PHP uh, print functions to display where we need them to with the correct data that we need to display and if you look at the source code you see I'm just printing out all of those little pieces of information that we gathered from this MySQL database query within the while loop and so what I adjusted in the top portion inside the while loop where we gather all the the member data I added the sign up date so we show that now on the page and the way I set everything up on the design of the page within this table it pushes all the data down so in my about me section if I have eight paragraphs it'll push the blabs down and I'm gonna show you in the blab section how to make a content scroller that way it won't really make the page way too long if you choose to do that for any of your content you can and so that'll be in part 18 or 19 whatever see how far we get in the next and so we put the member since sign up date gets displayed here their YouTube is right in between that so now I'm going to show you how to set up the alternate content within an if, if and else conditional sort of like we did for the image but now we're going to see if they have data in the database that may not be present we want to make sure we account for that in the design of the display of the of their profile okay now this is going to be oh so simple because we already have a mechanism that's checking to show alternate content already for the picture so let's just copy that one paste it in under it and let's rename what it says mechanism to display YouTube channel or not very simple okay so we'll get rid of these two variables because we do not need them and we just have to change this if condition right here so let's grab this YouTube right here control C if YouTube equals nothing then we're gonna show let's make a new variable name 
let's call it YouTube channel equals this user has no channel yet has no YouTube channel yet and then if they do we're gonna grab this script this embed script that we all learned about earlier in the series and right here we're gonna change this to channel watch how easy this is let me just remove the whole thing or copy it rather control C pop it right in there in between single quotes this time though so just put single quote single quote put it right in and right here where we have PHP print we're going to remove that remove the double quotes we don't need this PHP or the semicolon so now all we have to do is go over here and put in single quote space period space and on the other side of the variable space period space single quote and that way that variable right here will display display correctly so we're gonna say YouTube there not channel now down in the page so that will put their YouTube right in that line where it needs to be now here down in the page we want to print out YouTube channel change that to YouTube channel and now in the page where are we uh, right here we'll remove all this do not need it I'm just gonna print out the whole YouTube channel right there and I tried to structure out the little table this this table right here displays everything it's very small this page is very lightweight and so uh, let's see what do we have here make sure this is all good YouTube channel yep save it let's FTP it and we'll check okay view my profile and sure enough there it is now let's view somebody's profile that just joined or something may not have a channel well oh, that person has a channel let's see somebody else okay why would he have my channel oh I see because I had mine set just temporarily to show my channel in case somebody had one right there in that if conditional so let's remove that and now put up the profile page now refresh that user see this user has no YouTube channel yet and now all we have to do put a little line break right there now put it up and refresh it and it put a little space there that's it now if you go and you view your channel your your channel displays if you have a YouTube account and I'm sorry when you go to your profile your channel will display if you have a YouTube account and if you've inserted it into the edit profile page okay so that pretty much shows you the adjustments I've made on the profile PHP page and the script adjustments necessary to show alternate content okie dokie so in part 18 what we're going to do is show you how to set up some twitter functionality and make a really active a hopefully active site where people will just be blabbing it's not going to be tweeting on my site at web intersect it's going to be blabbing and we're going to make fun of twitter a little bit